Welcome to my channel, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by to see what your girl, Eating with Food for Thought Roberts, also known as the Personal Chef, also known as the Auntie, on Facebook and on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you how I make my detox water. I start off with, you guys know, I love this Brita, and I'm always got this Brita on hand. Okay, if you haven't gotten a Brita, get you a Brita. This thing is a lifesaver. It cuts way, way down on buying a lot of bottled water. But today, the type of detox water I'm going to be making is going to have cucumbers, apples, lemons, fresh rosemary, and basil from my garden chia seeds, and that's it. Detox water is so simple, it's so refreshing, it's so good for you, it's so healthy, and you can make detox water with any types of fruits, add you a few vegetables in there, and it's all good. So let's get at it, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the apples. I just cut up a half of an apple, very small. And I'm going to put my cucumbers in here. I like to do things in layers. I'm going to add the rosemary. If you don't have a rosemary bush, a rosemary plant, get you one. And if you get one, unless you have a lot of land, grow it in a container because these things will take over. Basil. Lemons. I'm going to add some chia seeds. This is two tablespoons of chia seeds. Have a little whisk. So whisk it around. More lemons. Rest. Rest of the cucumbers. Cucumbers are so, so refreshing. Add one more sprig of rosemary to the top and the rest of this basil. Just a couple of little sprigs of basil. Top it off. The water. Just that quick, just that simple, just that easy. Refreshing detox water. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have, I mean, you have to go to the store. You don't have to buy your detox water. You can make your own. You know exactly what's in it. Because just because you read what's on those labels doesn't mean that that's all that's in it. They be having a little underhanded stuff up in there. So be careful when you're buying stuff like that. This is my detox water. So good for you. You can probably drink this in a day or drink it in two days, but it'll be gone. And just make you another one. You know, only used half an apple, half of a very small apple. As a matter of fact, this is the other half of the apple. See, just a little bitty apple. Cucumber, lemon. See the mint and the basil. That's it. I want to talk about detox tea. If you're not doing your detox tea, you are doing your body disservice. Do your detox teas. There's lots on the um, lots of teas out there. This tea is called Hades and it has a variety of five different types of teas. There's 25 bags in here. I think I paid $11 for this on Amazon. I'm not sure but I bought a couple of boxes of this and this tea is really really good. It's called a slimming tea. But like I said do your research. People don't like to do research. They want everything told to them. You know, um, how, how, where you get this at? How you do this? How you do that? What's in it? Blah, blah, blah. Do your research. Find out what's in it because what's in it and is good for me, it may not be good for you. So make sure you do your research when you're going to try a new product. Like I think they have a tea out there called Yo Play. 
I'm not sure. It starts with a Y. A yoga starts with a Y. I remember that because I have some around here somewhere. But like I said, they have different types of slimming tea. So find you one that suits you, one that you like. Like I said, this one, Haley Slimming Tea, it has five different varieties in here. So you have five different flavors to try and all the flavors are good. Normally when I'm making my detox water, I put cinnamon sticks in there, but I've run out. So next trip to the store, I got to put it on my list to get my cinnamon sticks. Another thing, this is called a liver focus. It supports the liver. This is a JJ Smith product. This is a product that she endorses. I'm the administrator of the JJ Smith 30 days green smoothies for life challenge. And this is one of her products. And if you're interested in this product, you go to the JJ Smith online store. Just Google it. It'll come up, type in what you're looking for. And this product will come up. She sells out of it quickly. So be prepared to wait. And sometimes you might look up, bam, you got it just like that. I haven't had problems get, getting it. But this says, supports liver health, promotes liver detoxification, antioxidant support, is vegan, and is gluten-free. So if you want to try Liver Focus, give it a try. But before you try any new product, make sure you consult your physician to make sure that it's something that they want you to do that is safe for you to do because all products are not created equal for your body. Another uh, liver product, this is called Lablurium Liver Cleanse. It supports the natural cleansing action of the liver. Again, do your research. I bought this at the health food store. This cost me $25 for this bottle right here. So do your research and see if it's good for you. Because you maybe, if you can't get the liver focus, if you can't find liver focus, you may be able to find another product that's very, very similar to Liver Focus. Just check out the ingredients. And if it's similar, it may be all good. Consult your physician, and your physician will let you know yay or nay on the liver cleanse. Another thing J.J. Smith promotes is a product called MAG-07. She promotes MAG-07. I don't have any MAG-07, but I do have Oxy Powder, and it does the same thing as... MAG-07, I forgot what I paid for it, but I bought this also at the health food store. And it's just like a MAG-07, you take the pills, it's like four or five pills you take at night on an empty stomach for internal cleansing, and you should be doing your thing by the next day. This is my water, the water that I made minus the chia seeds, I didn't put any seeds in here, I just made everything up because when I'm videotaping, I drink lots and lots of water. I have to stay hydrated because it's very hot in here. If you have any questions for me, if there's anything that maybe I can help you with, I don't know it all. I know a little bit, not a lot of bit, but a little bit. I do know some things, but anyway, please feel free to leave a question in the comment section. And I will try to do, I will try to answer the question. And if I can't answer it, I will try to send you where you can find the answer. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. The name of my channel is Eating with Food for Thought Roberts. I'm about healthy eating. I'm about exercising. I'm about detox waters, green smoothies. I'm also, like I told you earlier, I'm the administrator of the J.J. Smith 30 Day Green Smoothies for Life Challenge. If you have not joined that group and you're looking for a better way because we are coming up on the new year and everybody seems to want to make that New Year's resolution and they don't stick to it, but you know, just get on out there and just do it. Okay? Just do it. It doesn't, nothing beats a failure but a try. Just do it. So come on by, join her channel. The J.J. Smith 30-Day Green Smoothies for Life Challenge. And also, join my channel. It's called Eating with Food for Thought Roberts on Facebook. 
I would love to have you. As of now, I have a little over 800 members in my group. And this group is about different things. It's about green smoothies. It's about detox waters. It's about vegan. It's about paleo. It's about vegetarianism. It's about anything you want it to be about. It's about healthy eating, healthy living, healthy cooking. That's what this channel is about. And occasionally we may have some cakes and pies and cookies on there because we are sharing. We are coming up on the holidays and people are going to be baking. Yes, they are. They're going to be baking them cakes, them pies, them cookies because I'm going to be doing the same thing. And don't forget, whatever you think you want to eat, you can have it. I don't care what it is unless your doctor says you can't. You can have it. Just remember, do things in moderation instead of eating this much of the cake, eat that much of the cake. Have enough to be satisfied. And once you're satisfied, it's all good. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water because that's half the battle right there. Because once you put fluids in your system, that stomach is halfway filled up. And it doesn't have a lot of room for a lot of stuff. So drink your waters, stay hydrated, drink your fluids, stay hydrated, eat for the holidays, we are in November. Today is November the 1st. Eat your food, but eat in moderation. We don't have to be gluttonous. We don't have to be hoggish. I know some of us are because I'm in that. Some of us are categories sometimes, but I've learned to tone it down, to tame it down. Okay, so I'm not as bad as I used to be. So I eat whatever I want to eat. I just do it in moderation. Okay. And with that being said, that's my time. I hope to see you on the next video. And thank you, everyone, for stopping by.